Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. And in this particular episode, I'm going to take you behind the scenes during a pre-wedding shoot here in Cebu City in this wonderful resort called Dusitani Mactan. Okay, too much, too much, too much. Bring it down. Okay, cool. So, perfect. The light that I used here was a bare bulb Photix Indra 500 at full power on high speed sync, coming from behind the subjects. This was done to mimic the quality of the light coming from the harsh mid afternoon sun. The light was also positioned about 60 degrees above and slightly left of the camera, placing it in the same general direction as the ambient light to make it look as natural as possible. Closer. I changed the light modifier in this image to the Photix Raja 65 and still had it positioned in the same location as the previous photo. Experimenting with a softer light looks okay but wasn't totally happy. Wow. Bring the head, bring it down, lower. Light, 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 lower, lower, pass some more, some more, some more. Okay, that's it, that's perfect, hold that. I removed the modifier once again and went with a bare bulb look. The Photix Syndra was still on one half power and on high speed sync. The difference with this final image is that I had the light closer and at a slightly different angle to illuminate the groom's face and at the same time light the bride's hair. A shift in composition also allowed me to use the sun and create a natural flare behind the groom's head. So for this particular layout, we're going to be doing a sunset shoot here in Dusit Tani Mactan. Our couple is now getting ready, changing into, her, into their outfits. So if you want, you can come with me and let's try to look for a location where we're going to be shooting that sunset shoot. So the sun will be setting somewhere here, right? So if it's going to be setting there, I don't want to shoot directly towards them. And I can see some cloud formations. And I'm hoping that we're going to get a burst of orange while we're shooting. So what I want to do is I want to incorporate this amazing resort in the shot. So we could shoot here on the beach, but then you wouldn't know where it is. So what we're going to do is I saw an area upstairs, which is by the swimming pool, and see if we can find a good location there. Okay, profile this way. Yes, love that. I had the Photix Indra on high speed sync set to one half power with a Raja 65 softbox with a grid on her right to follow the natural direction of the ambient light. I put a grid in order to control the spill of the light. The addition of this artificial light in the image was done in order to control the intensity of the existing ambient light and balance out my exposure. David, you can put on your shades now. No, no, too, sorry, too much. Your right shoulder, bring it in. Your left, 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 pala. Left, going here. This way, this way, this way, yeah. Then look out. There, cool. Open your mouth, David, David, yeah. The key to this image was that the light was faced more towards the groom since he was further away from the light source. Having the light relatively close to the subject brings in the principle of the inverse square law, which states by the time the light hits the groom, it will almost be the same intensity as the light hitting the bride who is closer to the light source. Your right shoulder is on the Good. No, some more, some more, some more. There. Drop it, drop it. Relax this one. Look there. Cool. That's it. That's it. Right. Open your mouth a little bit. Having fixed the light position and making sure that my light power is properly dialed in, which at that time was one half power and high speed sync, the focus was sent to create a masculine pose for the groom. This is why I made him drop his back shoulder, thus making his front shoulder rise. I also kept the head square and the shoulder line centered. But then lean forward a little bit. So again, a little bit more. Chin down. I don't know, that actually was better. Yeah, lean back, lean back, lean back, chin up. Relax your hand. Um. Okay, nice. Chin down opening. Chin down opening. Okay. 
Open your eyes, yeah. Look at me straight. Put your foot down. Lean forward. So yeah. Just cross your legs. Cross your legs, lean forward and look at me. You can take out the light from there. Okay, open and look at me. Here, right here. Right here. Bring, bring it down. Notice that I am always lighting the short side of my subject. This means that my light is opposite to the side of the face I am shooting. This creates a shadow on the broad side of the face, which in turn narrows it. And then last here, here's down here. Uh, David, yep. Paneng, you're gonna be here, right here. David, can you sit down beside Paneng? Oh, Very nice. Right. Yeah, and there. And then sit at the edge, Paneng. Uh, then David, sit down. Closer, closer, closer. And then just lean towards David. Yes, that's it. That's it. So you can get into your profile now, Paneng. Hold hands. Uh, David, look at the engagement ring. Uh, maybe your hands, you could put it on her thigh. There. There. Cool. What attracted me to this scene was the way the sun was glistening over the water, creating a very nice out-of-focus background. In this first image, I had a Photix Indra 500 on high-speed sync with a Photix Raja 65 Octobank with grid on camera left. The initial image shows just a tweaking of the pose Light was on the broad side of the subjects, coming from the opposite direction of the prevailing ambient light, something I'm not really very fond of. Light here, please. Help, Muna. Hello. <laughs> Medic. Here, Medic. right here. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, even I'm dying. <laughs> you guys having fun? <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. One more. Cool. Love it. Having tweaked the pose the way I wanted it, it was time to fix my light. I controlled the highlights in camera by underexposing the scene and adding the Photix Indra now on camera right as my main light. Now it comes from the same general direction of the prevailing ambient light. Move their light going here a little bit. This way, some more. Stop. Love it. David, open your eyes. <laughs> Paneng, put your right hand down a little. Not bring it, slide it down a little bit more. Yeah, there. Beautiful, beautiful, guys. This final image was what I envisioned as soon as I saw this scene. So from tweaking the pose in the first image, then properly positioning the light and dialing in the correct power in the second image, the last step was to focus on the composition. The Sony 70-200 2.8GM was used to bring the background close to the subjects through compression. The sunlight from the back sparkling on the water gave a nice out of focus background effect. The ambient light was controlled for the highlights. Completing the scene was having the light coming in from the natural direction of the ambient light, hitting the subject on the short side. So this pool is the area where we pinpointed earlier that we wanted to shoot the sunset photo. We wanted to get a reflection of the sunset on the pool because it's an infinity pool. But here's the problem. All of a sudden, there's so many people swimming so the water won't be placid and we won't get the reflection that we want. But in order for us, we can actually do something about it now because I saw this area here. If you see this area, look at where the sun is supposed to be set. I can put them there, which I positioned that uh, table underneath that, that uh, umbrella. So I can put a light inside that umbrella and make it seem as if there's light coming from it and focusing on them then I would underexpose the sunset just to bring out the colors. All right, so let's see how that will do. But from here, maybe I'll do some test shots here in the bridge, put some light. I'll probably use my Photix Indra 500 with a standard reflector and grid just to focus the light. Because the moment I start using with my, my wide, which is what I'll be using today, I'll be using my A7R Mark III with a 16 to 35 2.8 GM. 
I just need my light to be focused on the subject. The quality of the light is not as important to me because it's going to be a wide shot. It's not going to be a portrait. The most important thing is the position and the direction of the light now. So we'll do that here. We'll try it. Maybe I'll get myself wet and, uh, and submerge myself in the water. That should be fine. And then we'll do a few shots there. All right, so let's try. Let's do this. <laughs> 